Good working conditions have been identified as the major root causes of the exodus of nurses abroad. This was a submission of participants at a National Nurse Leaders Summit themed Transforming Nursing Practice through a Strategic Plan for Nursing and Midwifery held in Lagos. The government has to step in. Our wages has to be looked into. We need more welfare, especially in Lagos states. Accommodation can be provided. Star buses can be given. Even let our salary be increased. Then the work environment, I think we need to. We are backward when it comes to uh, the patient care, the use of our equipment and instruments. Abroad, they've done automated. But you still go, when you get to our world, you still find the 19 case settings all over. But we can do better. So I've just an advice and an appeal also to our government that they should please step in so that this menace can be stopped. Looking at it globally, it will please the association that the total national budget allocation for the health sector is put at 20%, not just 0 to 6%, so that the health sector from federal to state will have enough to administer what is desired. And then looking at the welfare of the nurses, it will be important that a special salary structure is created for the nurses that can be called the nurses' salary structure. If it is done, and then other, uh, other areas of welfare considered, it will go a long way to encourage those who want to leave to stay back. The council said it has put in some measures in order to provide accessible and available manpower at all levels of healthcare in Nigeria and called for immediate implementation of the circular released by the Office of the Head of the Service on the proper grading of nurses as a way of boosting their morale. Also put a strategy of training, identify, come out with a lower training, which will require the community nursing and community midwife, where we identify a community being in his own locality, train him or her in that community, and send out that community and remain in that community for not less than two years as a nurse and midwife. So that these are the measures we are also putting in order to do the maintenance of their movement freely. But after two years, they can also go back to colleges of nursing or university to advance their knowledge and become professional nurses. At that level, if they so wish, they can now leave. And that is a vicious cycle. While others are moving, and others are also coming on. These are all the measures that council put in place. It's expected that the implementation should start immediately because looking at the number of years the nurses have fought on the issue of proper grading, ranging from 2016 to date, if it is started, it will also be a thing of encouragement to the nurses. Allowances do for them, ship duty, call duty, and uh, specialty allowances. The midwife are doing so much, but they are not getting anything. It is on that side that I will say that if 70% consolidated basic can be given to all the nurses cut across board, it will be a good incentive, at least to encourage those who are living because of uh, economic good. They will find reason to say, let us stay and salvage it. It will also serve as an encouragement to those who actually have decided to work in Nigeria despite the situation. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.